university. I used to never to miss practice because here I am with my, I know I can't sing you guys. Happy birthday to you. I can't sing, but he kept on leading me on that I can sing. So I never tired going to practice and practice was after classes. So you can imagine people used to go home and you are left behind to to practice. It is the hardest thing when you're in a day school. I was in a day school, by the way. We used to go to school bare feet. Okay, I had shoes, but I was removing them because 90% of my classmates and my friends never had shoes. So I used to leave my, carry my shoes, come from home with shoes, so that my mom doesn't get too angry. And then I come back to the channel. So I'm taking you guys for a little walk around my neighborhood. And you can see kids are going about their business, buying, uh, you know, supplies for dinner. This is homes, they look like that. No. Wira. Eh. So, actually, yeah. People just going about their businesses. There's chicken all over. Grazing for the last time before they head into the house. So, you guys, I'm giving you a tour around this house. This place, not the house. Oh, my God. I'm used to house to us. So that you can see how life in the village looks like. And have a picture. Yeah, generally that and and more, more, more story times. I promised to tell a story when I was doing this walk. In primary school, I had a passion for, for singing. And the singing didn't go so well because the, the, sing, the choir instructor or the choir master, what do you call him? Choir master decided that I cannot sing and was not able to tell me while I was there. You know, someone he kept leading me on that I can sing. You know, every day he, he even clapped for me that you can sing, you're able to sing. And then I kept on going for practice every day. You know, we, we would sing these uh, traditional songs, folk songs, and they're also enjoyable and dancing. I was good at dancing traditional dance, which was combined with all that music festival. How, that's how we call it in Kenya music festival. It's, comes once in a year. So when the times were there and then competitions are normally held uh, at stages. There is, uh, depending on the grouping at that time, right now there's counties. That time there was you no know, district, provinces, and then for nationals you go. Now meet m many people from every part of the country. And I was only in, cl I think, class seven. In other countries you'd call it grade seven. So, me with my agility, I used to never to miss practice because here I am with my, I know I can't sing you guys. Happy birthday to you. I can't sing, but he kept on leading me on that I can sing. So I never tired going to practice and practice was after classes. So you can imagine people used to go home and you are left behind to to practice. It is the hardest thing when you're in a day school. I was in a day school, by the way. We used to go to school bare feet. Okay, I had shoes, but I was removing them because 90% of my classmates and my friends never had shoes. So I used to leave my, carry my shoes, come from home with shoes, so that my mom doesn't get too angry. And then when I get to school, I put them in my bag so that I can be the same with others. You know, I didn't want to create so much attention I'm telling you God is great. God, God has taken us from grass to grace. Right now, I can walk around filming on my phone. And actually, my school is there. I want to show you the school right now. Right now, I've reached, I'm almost getting to the Katown Center. Not even center, a village center, you know. So, there's too much good light here. That's why I'm stopping here. There's good lighting here. I kept on going to the practice, which was the hardest thing to do. Because when people are going home, you know you're hungry. When, when, if you've gone to a day school in Kenya, you know, there's a lot of hunger. Because most, most of the time you don't go for lunch. Or if you go for lunch, your parents are not even there. So there's only tea. You can only take tea and then go back to school. So uh, you, you take so much of your energy. You take so much of your energy to stay back and practice. I did it with all my heart and passion, knowing that I can sing. And then the day you're supposed to go for the first stage of... Uh, the first stage of what? Competitions. I came home, washed my, my 
school tunic. People look at me like I'm crazy. My God. I washed my my dress, ironed it. So I was saying I was distracted by the drunkards. You know, people are drunk. Look at him. Where is he? He's about to fall in that river. There's a river there. So I came home, washed my tunic dress, ironed it and enhanced the pleats, you know, the primary school vibe. I know my hair is looking a mess, guys. Oh, don't worry. It's going to be made soon. I'm all over this video, I know, right? So the story, let's continue. I ironed my tunic dress so perfectly that it was looking so good. And then I had my socks cleaned, my shoes brushed. I had everything. I had things packed, snacks packed for tomorrow. My mom had packed things in my bag. For tomorrow I had, you know, everything that you need to go for practice because you spend the whole day there. So the following morning, so the bus was supposed to pick us at a certain... Uh, people were supposed to meet us at a certain point, which was closer to my home. So I went there. Can you imagine that choir master dropped me out of choir and told me I can't go. Had no reasons to tell me why I can't go. I cried. Others just kept led, leading me on that you have been sent somewhere. And then, that, and then I was sent to school to pick something. And then I found the bus had gone. I cried my heart out, guys. It was so sad, so devastating. Let's keep walking so that I can continue this story. It looks weird. <sighs> Standing. So, I felt really bad that day. And people are literally thinking I'm a mad woman. <laughs> when you're a vlogger in the village, people don't get you. People don't get you. So, that happened. And I think that was wrong for him to do. I, 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 I would prefer him telling me before I even went home to clean my to clean my uniform and you know, my shoes and prepare. I didn't even sleep. I, I got no sleep that day, the day before. So he played some games on me, told my best friend to, that, to send me somewhere to go pick something. And then when I came back, the bus had left and my things were on the floor where, where they, were, they were meeting. Can you imagine? That was so rude of him. I can't mention your name because you are still a teacher. And I became a high school teacher and I know I'm trying my best to be a better teacher. I can never do that to someone's son or daughter. Because that day my spirit was crushed like hell, man. What? Can you imagine the preparation? I told everybody in my family that I'm going out. And then it was a day school. For you to go out, it, takes, it happens once in a blue moon. My goodness. That was so wrong. But I forgive you. I forgive you because forgiveness is the best thing to do. I am a child of God and I believe forgiving is the best thing to do. But I hope you're not doing that to other people's children because they might not have thick skin like mine. I cried for a night and forgot about it. But I thought to share it to you and just know how people could be treating your children in school. Might not be what you think. <laughs> so, uh, okay, so I was telling you guys, if you have a daughter or a child, or a, no, no matter the age, Atakama Nikadogo, you know, Check up on her, talk to them, how are they feel, being treated because, you know, I am a teacher and I know you have to have your child's interests best at heart. Those, I treat my students like my kids, even though we are almost the same age. Huh? I treat them as my kids because I want my child when she goes to school, people treat her the same way and even better. So you just begin by being good to the people who are around you and God will make sure they meet the best people when they grow bigger and older. What I was coming to do, I was coming to deposit some money back there at the Mpesa. You see we have some supplies for dinner, there's tomatoes, onions, everything you need. We don't have to go to the main markets. Kenyans, Kenyans are sorted. Even in the village we got markets. So in front there, I'm not going to walk up to there because my camera, the, the back camera is even worse. So, because of light. I'm going to turn around and show you backwards, all right? So you can see where the main center is. So that is where the center is. Can you see back there? I know it's really small, but it functions super well. There is M-Pesa, there is uh, a grinding machine for, for corn. Of course, you know, maize, corn meal is our main 
dish as Kenyans and even almost everybody in Kenya. So having a grinder is important. It is there. So on the way I was gifted a banana. <laughs> the beauty of living in the village, you guys. You can't even imagine. This one, if you bought it in town, is 10 shillings. My banana. Tastes really good. On the field, oh, so blessed. You know, I, I grew up in this village, so everybody I, I walk past by, <laughs> that makes sense. Everyone I walk past knows me. And they, they, they have bananas. Okay. They're like, where have you been all this time? Can I have one. You can have one. Where have you been? You can have one. And who am I to say no? <laughs> so I was saying, you guys, I was harassed by that choir master and it didn't feel nice. I told my mom and she told me it's gonna be okay. You're gonna be you're gonna be a, a better person than he thinks. And here I am. I became a high school teacher in Kenya. You know we have primary and high school that's for eight for four system. So I am currently doing that and I believe uh, if you want your generation to be good and just live comfortably and be okay God is going to bless you only if you are touching lives. And I do that by encouraging students, talking to them, just being nice to them, listening to them before you judge, you know. Just be that nice person that is touching hearts. Saseni? Oh. <laughs> that is touching hearts. And God is going to manifest that in your life in ways that you cannot understand. Okay? So... Yeah, so that is my village. I have made, I've come round. I didn't pass through this road when I was going. So it's like a circumference, you know, to make a complete walk. And I don't know how many steps I've taken. I'll check in the Samsung Health to see how many steps I've taken. I'm feeling so nice. Oh, my God. Look at that. Hmm? I feel like I am... Oh, I feel good. I feel nice, see you guys. And also, I'm so grateful for those who are subscribing and telling their friends to subscribe. I cannot even express to you how much I love you because you're making my dream of becoming a real YouTuber. You know, right now I'm like a mediocre YouTuber with 10 views. Ah, you make my dreams come true. I love you guys so much. Really productive work. I've solved some cases. I met some kids fighting, you know. Bought them biscuits and they went home. Laughing about it. And then... I have burned some calories, of course. If you haven't noticed, your girl be adding up weight so fast. Yeah, I think I need to wrap. You can look at me in the maze farm, and I'm not afraid. The, the, the truth about being home at home, being home, being at home. So I'm going to end this vlog because I'm about, I'm about to get home. It's like 100 meters from here, and it's getting dark. You can see the light is misbehaving now. It's time for the sunset. Time for the sunset. So, you guys, thank you so much for following me on this walk. If you have enjoyed this video, kindly subscribe to my channel. Just do it here. It costs you nothing, but it will give you a chance to see amazing videos from your girl, from this fash, you know. Yeah, and please, please get me to 2,000 subscribers. I am 18 subscribers away from 2,000 subscribers. Kindly, kindly, please subscribe if you haven't already so that we can get 2,000 subscribers and we'll be grateful about it and thank God about it. So thank you for so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share. Comment down below with what you think about videos like this. Yeah, And I'll see you in my next video.